Welcome back guys, this time we're going to talk about TEC pressure. This is a picture of my water block, this is the TEC here, with my 80s style writing, and we apply pressure along some bolts. Hopefully you have straight ones that don't resemble nails. So you need to apply some pressure to this. The question has to be how much pressure and why do you need pressure and what are, what are the implications of not applying it or applying too much. If you don't apply enough pressure then you'll actually end up with a bit of an air gap in here. Now since you'll be using tim um, or thermal paste in between both surfaces here and here you won't literally end up with an air gap, you'll end up with more tim in that gap and that will result in lower performance. If you apply too much pressure you're going to get potentially, depending how much pressure you apply of course, some bowing of this block here which will again create a gap and reduce performance. Also if you apply too much pressure you can crush this poor old TEC and he will not be happy anymore. Oh, poor sad TEC. So the question becomes how much pressure should you apply? Now, because there's this discussion about TEC pressure, people tend to believe that it's an awful lot of pr pressure that's required, but it's actually very low. And that's uh, in part created because of numbers like 300 psi, oh, it sounds like heaps of pressure but it's actually very low. Now there is a debate about the 300 psi that ranges from manufacturer, you have some people saying well, like 120 psi, I've seen people even less than 100, I've seen up to 170 or even 300 plus. It does vary. Now this is the maths, there are different versions of this which works out how much pressure you should apply depending on the number of screws uh, and of course what size the screws are and how big your TEC is. This one here relates to my current block. So if we do all the maths it works out to be this number here. Now that is 10.5 inch pounds which is very little pressure. If you try and go and buy a uh, a, a torque wrench they'll just about all be in feet pounds so that is not a lot of pressure so I would recommend that you go out and buy a uh, uh, get a, a torque wrench to do this it's not a, you don't have to do it you can do it by hand but it will be impossible to get it equal and for the total cost of the entire system it will be a very small dollar value so you might as well purchase one, you can obviously use it for other things and can never have too many tools. So that's uh, TEC pressure, not a lot you can say about that, yes you need it, yes you need the thermal paste on both sides of the TEC, it is a very low number, not a very high number. I personally like to apply more pressure than, than the lowest numbers, uh, but that is just me. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, give me likes to the YouTube video if you can, ask some questions. I've only got about three more to go that I can think of. So, um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed them. Hopefully it's been helpful. Hopefully people have learned things. Uh, yeah, thanks guys. Bye.